am Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one-to-one diet consultants and this week we are going to talk about the wonderful world of a product hack and how it can be your saving grace, especially at a weekend. Um, if you haven't made a jelly sweet yet, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Because we, we, we do love a jelly sweet and a fizzy orange, don't we Nell? We live for the weekend. We know we do. And uh, and a lot of people have approached us and asked during the summer as the schools are about to break up and they're looking at what they're up to this summer. Would it be sensible to move up a step? How can they enjoy themselves? But without, complete, you know, without coming off plan and don't phone me, I'll call you in September and all that kind of stuff. So we thought we would um, do product hacks because they cover all steps. And yes, with your consultant on that one to one basis, there might be the possibility that you can step up at the weekend or ring fence those events or those weddings or barbecues or things that you've got coming up and still see a good rate of loss but if you are absolutely determined to stick to those lower steps um step one through step three and remember there's no booze anywhere on plan regardless of which step you're on so we have gotta find our little treats where we can if you're determined to stay on plan and lose the absolute most that you can over the summer holes then jelly sweets are going to become your best friend <laughs> They are. So that's using water flavorings and the mixer mousse, which is like a powdered gelatine. And you can make jelly sweets. You can make actual jelly if like the little individual sweets and silicon molds aren't your thing. And you can also turn your shakes into a mousse in much the same way, can't you now? It's all yeah, very nice. Yeah, product hacks with the mixer mousse, which is a very fine beef gelatin powder, yeah. um, is, it are amazing because you can play with textures. You can make yourself kind of the trifles. You can layer the jelly and the mousse, and then you can grate or crumble up some bar over the top. You know, things like lemon mousse um, fit with the lemon bar, uh, vanilla with a little bit of, you know, the protein drops that you can buy as well yes. in 101 different flavours. They're allowed on plan. So you can make yourself things that genuinely you take to the summer barbecue in your cooler bag that will make your friends and family go, oh, what are you having? You know, all of those things that we can play with and make ourselves think, I get to eat this and lose weight. You know, that we're not missing out on anything, um, that we have our own alternative. Because, you know, I'm sure you've heard me and Heidi say 101 times, you know, it's, it's not about all the things we can't have. Let's put our energy and focus and attention into all the things we get to have, yes. all the things that we get to do and really put the effort into some of that we're doing this video partly because we now have to we're we're, we're now going to have to to make some of these things so that we can do a compilation video and show you some of them so hopefully by the time you're watching this we will have you know uploaded some of that but that is there is a lot of that stuff here as well Heidi is absolutely the queen of the uh, the one-to-one trifle and the mooses and and all of that sort of stuff so go and check out our other videos so you can see some of the stuff that we're talking about but ice lollies, and if you don't want to use the gelatin, you can use agar agar. They sell that in supermarkets. It's not quite the same recipe. You do have to have a bit of an experiment with it, but it's a plant-based, seaweed-based, um, and it does the same job as gelatin. So it, it binds these things. So if you want to do it in a vegetarian or vegan way, that's the way to do that. Um, but ice lollies, you know, using yes. your pink water flavouring in a white, you know, in a balloon wine glass with, you know, ice cubes in a straw and, you know, feeling like you've got a drink, hitting all of those other things, you know, like the, the seed lip gin. You know, people pay a fortune for this kind of stuff. There's no alcohol in it because it's an experiential thing. We're hitting all the other experience markers. We're ticking all the boxes, but without the booze. So it's about creating these things. And we know we're playing tricks on ourselves, right? We're not daft. But in that moment where you're on that picnic or you're at that summer barbecue or you're at the wedding or you're with the kids, having these decoys, these convincing things that you've put a bit of effort into make a huge difference so that we don't accidentally slip into, oh, well, all I've got is this warm room temperature shape. This is rubbish. Yes. You know, anybody's not going to want to stick to that plan. But no. there are lots and lots of games that you can play to keep yourself your inner <laughs> your inner toddler entertained <laughs> exactly you know you can one i like to do if, if you're really love the shakes vanilla shake with some pineapple water flavoring a load of ice you've got a vanilla slushy it's absolutely lovely you can mix the water flavorings to make loads of different flavored drinks fizzy water so they're more like a soda like now said put them in a wine glass put them with loads of ice makes a lovely slushy for the summertime when you mentioned fizzy water, I remember last summer, me and the kids, that we froze in those silicon moulds. Yes. We froze fizzy water. So you get that funny, it's like a bubbly ice lolly, but you get those pockets of air because it freezes. Yeah. 
it really good. I like making um the the different colored um mocktails and things. Yes. You know, I put one up last week on Instagram and one of my slimmers wrote to me saying, now you've got a tree in your drink. Because I'd made this kind of mojito <laughs> style and I'd put a big sprig of mint from the garden in it. And I was like, I'm allowed it. A mint on pan, yep. it's, it's game on. But it, it's, it's amazing how those things work. And we've also got, Heidi has a beautiful, beautiful pictures of things that she does like the like the smorgasbord that you do like oh i love plate. a snack board i love a themed snack yeah. board um you know Even use the pop the squares steps, you can do that oh yeah so uh, uh, for example a snack board on a step one you want your pop squares whatever flavor you like you get a lot of pop squares in a bag i'm just saying there's a lot in there for 100 cows yeah. um you get a bag of pop squares half a bar chop it up really small make half a shake into a mousse in a little ramekin, put it out with some jelly sweets on a snack board. Bob's your uncle. What time, what time do you want me to come around? I yeah. mean, I'm there. Yeah. If you don't want to make the mousse, take two different flavoured uh, bars, chop them in half. So you've got two different flavours, cut them up a little bit like Revels, I always think, if you get a few different flavours and portion them out into bags yeah. um, so on a one-to-one -one diet. You've yeah. got the grazing, you've got the nibbling, you've got the kind of last all evening. You know, instead of all the crisps and all the olives and all of the, you know, yeah. all of those extra... And when the others are well, tucking into the popcorn... Yeah, if you're tucking in, they're tucking into the popcorn and the Doritos and you've got your own snack board set in front of you all to yourself. I mean, you're in. And it's winning. not complicated. It just mm -mm. takes a little bit of planning. It takes a little bit, yeah. bit of involvement. You know, plan out what, you know, what is happening this weekend? What do I need to kind of, you know, guard myself against? And it's not about wanting it badly enough or being stronger or, you know, I just have to say no. It's taking that energy and turning it into something much more positive, much more benevolent. You know, we're doing this because we want to be kind to ourselves. We want to scaffold ourselves and make it as easy as possible for ourselves. And if you are, you know, the other way you can use the products, if you're on a with food step, is to incorporate them into your, you know, into your yeah. food. So, you know, using some of the savouries as sauces, you know, putting the flaked white fish into the oriental chili soup, you know, shredded chicken, you know, the into the chicken tikka for you know saturday night curry night you know there's all of those sorts of things so that you can really feel like you are getting the most out of the plan and just buying the sachets and thinking that that's enough is not especially at times i mean monday through wednesday you you know you're using the products and you're just you know busting through it right but high days and holidays summer holds we particularly know from our experience that we we find that people get on a lot better if they put a little bit more thought and care into all of those little hacks little helpful hints and tips that can really make the difference and it gives it interesting you know if you've been on plan for a little while and you tend to order the same products it's just mixing it up a little bit with the flavors that you really like and that you know and you love i, um, I love the know. little bag of revels idea taking yeah. the bar and chopping it into different different flavors so that you know in the dark in the cinema or you know we, you, you've, you've got a different flavor every time you never know what you're going to get yes and the, my swimmers love doing that take three bars cut them up and put them into bag three separate bags so you've got still one bar in each you've got the other two ready for the next couple of days sealed up and you've got those ones good to go yeah. and it's just a little bit of eating is so much more about you know that, than yeah. just the nutrition otherwise we would all be doing fan on vanilla shakes space food it wouldn't matter but you know our, our meal replacements are the best meal replacements out there because we you know the the product development department the one-to-one -one diet all of us having experienced this ourselves we understand the importance of these things it, it matters you know so so don't be you know don't be proud make your snack board take your tupperware of jelly sweets because everybody will want in on that as well that's oh, yeah thing. i don't know about you but as a vegetarian when you go to um an, an event there's all the food and then there's the vegetarian option. Now, the vegetarian option is for the vegetarians, but all the carnivores <laughs> always want in on the... You haven't seen that? You noticed that? And my husband, drove my husband around the bend. He's like, but I'm not having a spoonful of all of that. But oh no, vegetarian, oh no, I'm having that as well. That's what you'll find will happen. So they will eat all the popcorn and all the crisps and all the olives and all the cheese and all the rest of it as well. And then they'll still come sniffing around your jelly sweets. Hmm, what's in there? <laughs> Exactly. But, you know, they're all having ice cream. You can make your shake into ice cream with enough ice in a blender. You know, have your chocolate mousse. Yeah, I love have a trifle. Well, because I'm yeah. lactose intolerant, the lactose-free chocolate shake has always been my ice cream. 
that's what I do when I'm with the kids. You're so right. Yes. And I've just been doing it for such a long time. I kind of forget now that that's a thing. Um, but if you if you're on the highest a lot of ice and a yeah. good blender, that's exactly the same thing. Because then, of course, which ice cream do the children want? Yeah. Your one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you're on a higher step, uh, you can get some very low calorie, like smarty things by, by the, in the skinny range. Um, and then you put it in your vanilla ice cream shake and it's like a McFlurry and you're not missing out at all. And you're on plan. I did not know that. Get winner, me winner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're on the higher step, step two, for example, that snack board can now have some protein on it. It can have some, you know, veggie batons on it to really bulk it out. If you're on step two and above, you can use our microwave meals, the veggie chili with potato wedges, with the pop squares used like nachos. All of a sudden, this does not feel like a diet so much at the weekends or no, even you, in the I week. Mean, you really, I didn't, yeah, I hadn't thought of that, like a charcuterie thing, didn't you? Yeah. You meat on there and then have, yes, because on step two, you've got like the pickles. So you've got like the cornichon yep. or spring, um, you know, like the, what they call like pickled onions. You've, yeah. got, you've got your savory end and your sweet. Yes. And I'm on plan, you say. I am. And I'm you're there. on plan. So, you know, there's just some ideas for you. Both of us have ideas also on our Instagram and I'll find some and link them in the description that we also have on YouTube. But go check out our Instagram because there'll be way more ideas on there that we've always got in our videos. Yes, I've um, got on, videos. And I'm more yeah. than happy to do more videos. I love that. Yes. So I just want to be able to use, you know, make and film what is actually useful to you. So make sure that you put in the comments. And if you're somebody that's gone, oh my gosh, if one more person mentions jelly sweets, I've never managed to master them. Let us know because we will take you through. I have a video. It is oh, it by the time they see like this, this, take the water, do this, put them in the mold. This is how long it takes. You're all good because by the time you see this, a jelly sweets video will have gone up last week. So go find it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew that. I totally knew that. Go but they are, they, they are worth, they're worth figuring out on plan. Either the veggie yes. ones or the ones with the mix and moves. It, it's worth it. All of this stuff is worth it. Don't just, don't buy the products. And leave them in the paper bag that you got them in and sort of, you know, leave them by the front door and don't ever, you know, we're, this is not about all the stuff that we don't get to do. We're not talking about over deprivation. Dieting doesn't have to be punitive, but you do have to get involved, you yeah. know, get involved, get in the community, get, talk to your consultant, find somebody you vibe with, you know, really, you know, watch these videos, give them, you know, give all these suggestions a go because we're not just sort of dancing around the edges of it. You've got to get involved and make the effort, put the energy into into getting the and you will get the very best results really there's the people that get involved you've got to be all in totally so hopefully it's giving you some ideas of what you might be able to do this weekend um if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see or certain recipes you would like us to pop up on here so you can have a look at them then do comment below also make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload we will see you next week have a good one bye bye